When you think of a library, you think of reading and books. But did you know there's actually a ton of math involved when you go to the library? Let's check it out! Doodly doodle, doodly doodle, doodly doodles and digits. Area symmetry fractions too. It's all here for you. I work at Old Worthington Library. I'm the circulation manager, and that means that I work with all the folks who help you get your cards when you come in and check out your books for you, and check them in when you put them in the return wall out there. One of the ways we use math at the library is for schedules. Um, so if you work 20 hours a week, everyone has their set time, and that means if you work five days, you have to work four hours for each of those days so that you have 20 hours at the end. Another way we use math is um, paying for materials, so if you take out a library book and you lose it or if your dog eats it and you have to pay for it, you know, we look at the price and then of course you give us the money and we would give you your change back. We also use math when we're ordering books, so if we're going to get a new book in and a lot of people want it, we have something called a reserve ratio, so for every four people who join that list to ask for it, we put another one in the order and that's how we figure out what to get. And then we also use um, math visually when we're doing the shelves and we have three-fourths of the shelf is full of books and one-fourth should be open so we can go and put the other ones in if we need to. Quick questions with the circulation manager. How does the library use decimals? Um, so the way we mostly use decimals in the library is that all of our books are separated into fiction or nonfiction. Fiction means that something is made up, so like a story that somebody wrote. And nonfiction is a true thing or it's got facts and it's going to teach you something. So all of our nonfiction materials uh, use something called the Dewey Decimal System, and that's how we know where to put them in the library. For instance, this one is the popcorn book, and it's got a Dewey Decimal number of 641.6567. And so the Dewey Decimal System explains where to put all those things, and a lot of libraries use it. So to break that down, anything in 600 is applied technology that might cover things like buildings, construction, medicine, or making products. Um, but in 640 specifically is home and family management. And then you get to 641, that's food and drink. 641.6 is anything cooking specific materials. 641.65 is for cooking vegetables. And then 641.6567 is specifically for cooking popcorn. So that's how you would know where to put that book in the library or where to find it if you were looking for it. How important is it to be precise? Because when people come in and they need to find a book, it needs to go exactly where they need to know exactly where to look for it, and you might come in and just say, hey, I'd like to see all your books on popcorn, and a librarian would help you go exactly to all the books with this number, and you could look through them and pick the one you wanted, so it's important that they're all together there so you can decide what you want. How does the library use time? We have a little under 30 people in our department that I work in. And so when we're doing schedules for them, some people come in in the morning, some people come later and work at night. And so if you come in in the morning, everyone who did that works about four hours and then we have to make sure they get an hour for lunch and then they work the rest of their shift. Everyone on the other end comes in and then they get a few hours for dinner and then probably work another four hours so that we've covered the library from when we open until when we close. Did you enjoy math growing up? My favorite thing about math growing up is feeling like there always is an answer for something and so there's one way to get to it or another but there's going to be an end and you can figure it out if you work at it. What is your best piece of advice for math students? Don't be afraid to ask for help. Challenge Problem, Library Edition. 
The library needs help putting these books back in order. Can you arrange these decimals so that they are from least to greatest? Remember, you can pause this video so that you can take as much time as you need to solve this problem. Did you get it correct? Want more videos involving real life math and how to videos for elementary math? Go ahead and like and subscribe. We post new videos every month. Bye! Find out more about Worthington Libraries and their awesome programs here.